Buddy, it is Tuesday and it's two o'clock, so that means it is time for Top 5 Tuesday. And of course, I'm your host from Crate Insider, I'm Kate Dillon, and I'm excited to be here today. Um, as, as you can see maybe from the description, I well, next week is PRI. Now I'm fully aware that PRI doesn't start until Thursday of next week. And for anybody who's not familiar, PRI would be the performance racing industry trade show and it's the biggest racing trade show of the year so i will be there um of course and talking to a lot of manufacturers and finding the new products and shooting a ton of video so if you do happen to be at pri if you see me feel free to stop stop me and to say hi um i won't have a whole lot of time like during the show to to really spend a whole lot of time on that because i'm kind of like boom 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 moving you know i'm moving the entire time um definitely chilling out at night though so you know we can certainly do that and uh yeah, so it's it's a cool hangout spot. But even though the show doesn't start till Thursday, um, I actually fly out on Monday of next week, and I will be in Indy for the entire week, uh, so that I can meet with manufacturers and shoot some behind the scenes stuff. Um, one thing that will happen next week as well is start to start a little bit of a fun promo. Is if any of you have been with us for a while, last year. I, ha I hired my friend Wesley Outland, who's an announcer, and I hired him to do live video from PRI. And we started these segments called Where's Wesley? So kind of like Where's Waldo, but Where's Wesley? Except for this year, I bought Wesley a Waldo costume. So, so he'll really stand out. So if you see somebody walking around PRI with a Waldo costume, more than likely that's going to be Wesley. So you can stop and talk to him. He'll be doing some live video for Crate Insider while we're there. And so I'm really, really excited about that so um so it probably won't it won't do a top five tuesday it certainly won't be a regular top five tuesday show next week i may pop on for just a few minutes just to say hi um but it's hard to say i just i never quite know what's all going to happen uh while, while we're in indy so we might be in a little bit of a top five tuesday hiatus for a week it could happen so we'll just we'll just kind of see now i generally have a giveaway every week and i couldn't quite decide what you guys would want this week so you can see in my oh well, this I'm kind of off camera here my little stash area over here my swag stash over here so i've got hats and i have t-shirts so go ahead and type into the comments whether you would prefer a hat or a t-shirt or if you want a sling grip, you know. So so let me know in the comments and we'll pull something from the swag stash over here and I'll just kind of get an idea of what people are looking for. So I'm going to say hi to some folks here. Um, I see that Kevin is here and Brian and Storm and Steve and Mikey and Tyler, Tommy, Mark. I mean, thank you all for being here. Bob, you're here every week. I've got a, quite a few top fans. Terry Peoples, of course, he's a top fan here. So thank you all for, thank all of you who are, especially if you're top fans, that's awesome. It means you show up, you check out our stuff. Um, I see Steve is another top fan and so is Kevin. So that is fantastic. And uh, and I'm really excited about, um, I, I see some excitement about PRI and I'm exceeding, excited about that too. So let me see, I got some t-shirts, a sling grip, shirt or hat. I don't know, just from a glance. I mean, I'm not really taking a, a uh, like official poll here. Kind of sounds like a t-shirt here. So let's just grab one out of here and just see what we got. And, oh, look at this. We have a, I just kind of grabbed a random one, but this happens to be a Hendron Racing Engines t-shirt, and you can see the back right here. There we go, in Rutherford to North Carolina. Of course, I work really closely with Hendron Racing Engines, and um, this one happens to be a medium. So, kind of like an is what it is, this is the size shirt that I have, and in order to win this shirt, all you need to do is leave a comment, and you can say hi or leave a question. I do love questions as well. And then we do a separate drawing, or if you know what my sign said last week, there's my sign right there. So if you know what my sign said last week, drop that in as a comment and we'll do a separate drawing for that. And um, what you'll win is I do these sling grips. So this one happens to be on a black phone. Um, here's, it has a little more contrast that you can see here, but it's this little elastic band here and it, it you just sticks onto your phone and makes it super easy to hold your phone. And of course we sell them too, but um, love, love the sling grips. I, I'm just I'm totally impressed. It was one of those things that, you know, came up as an opportunity. And I just had to buy it because it was 
it, it just seemed cool and I'm just as much in love with it today as I was when I first you know got them so <laughs> so I'd love for you to have one too and just drop in um, drop in if you know what my sign said last week and that'll give you a chance at that drawing so with that um, I, oh I guess my other announcement is Last night I did a, a master class talking about um, sponsorship and marketing. It's called the Sponsorship uh, Success Roadmap. I did that training and uh, I've gotten a really lot of great responses, but all of that leads into my program where I teach racers about how, you know, how to promote yourself, you know, about marketing and about getting sponsors. And I have a whole membership program called Smart Racers Membership Program. So we'll drop in a link here. And with that membership program, each month there's new information and then it's also a coaching program inside of the private Facebook group as well so you can you have somebody that you can ask your direct questions to and help out with all of your stuff so I can I know there's a couple of my students here at least in these in the comments here that have joined us on the show so if you have any questions I mean maybe ask them and maybe um, you know throw a question out there and um, and maybe they will, you know, jump in with an answer for you. I mean, I can certainly answer those questions, but sometimes it's best to hear it from somebody who's who's seeing the information firsthand as well. So feel free to do that. Um, otherwise, we'll drop in a link here. And the cost of my program is only twenty five dollars a month, or it's, you can just go ahead and pay for a whole year, get fifty dollars off, and do two fifty for a whole year. And each each month, like I said, I come out with new information. Um, but here's the deal: is that when January hits. We're going to be crazy on this Crate Insider end of things. And I also just want to really focus on the students that are in my program. So, you know, I do have those two different disciplines. So I am closing the doors to new members on December 31st. So no more new members after December 31st. Maybe I'll give an opportunity next year. I'm not sure. I haven't really decided. So if it is something that you think you might want to get into, it's seriously like less than a pit pass, you know, as far as the cost goes, and it can at least get you started and get you in. So just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, of course, what we do here on Crate Insider is talk about race car parts, but I do like to let you guys know what else I'm doing for my other projects that I work on. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I guess another project that is um, kind of exciting that will come up in January, if any of you are street stock racers, um, I've worked with Race Logic for the last two years, and when I go to a Race Logic chassis school, I generally speak about fire suppression. Um, it's because I did videos, you know, about fire suppression, and so I come in and I speak about fire suppression. But this year was a, a little bit different, and so the organizer Brian, um, Brian Littleton, he has decided because the class completely sold out in like 36 hours. And this class that's coming up in January, it's January 20th and 21st, is going to be at High Roller Race Cars. And because the class was sold out, the in-person classes, I was already going to be there speaking. So not only will I be speaking, but I'm also bringing cameras. I'm bringing Alex as a cameraman. And we're going to put that together into a whole online version of the chassis school. So again, that's totally separate from Crate Insider, but um, if you if that's something you're interested in, you might want to check out racelogic.vip. So we didn't use the odd.com, we used the, well, the .com is just the regular website. So the .vip is, you know, for VIPs who want to see the online training and you can sign up there. And I the price escapes me at this very red hot second. So if anybody wants to drop the price in, it's 200 something. Um, because, and it's, in person, it's a $350 class. And I know that the price is gonna go up too on that. So just throwing that out there, if that's something for any of you who run street stocks, um, there's definitely gonna be some major, major players there. I mean, of course, Justin McKee, uh, Justin, uh, from High Roller Race Cars. Um, also, Kevin DuPont will be there talking about shocks. I know Ben Baker will be there from AFCO, and there's uh, several other speakers as well. So it, it'll be pretty cool. Uh, Dave Hammond, my friend Dave Hammond from Hammond Motorsports. So, you know, really some good players and definitely going to – oh, it's all on that page, by the way. So racelogic.vip you'll see a whole breakdown of all the instructors that are going to be there. So that might be something else for you to check out since we are in the off season. But with that, let's go ahead and jump into the what the top five products are for this week. So in the number five spot, I'm kind of cheating here. I got my little box right over here. It is, of course, in the last few weeks, we introduced the Scott Performance Spark Plug Wire Set. And so this week in the number five spot is our Scott Spark Plug Wires. And I just want to show you how these come because we package them together. But, um, and they come in different colors. I stock black. Um, and then here's what's cool is that 
here is the here are the eight wires but then you have a whole coil wire kit and i did, haven't shown it this is the first time i've shown it this way but what's cool is in here i mean this is all like sealed up right open it up but it has different ends in here depending on what kind of um, what kind of ends you need so you can also cut this coil wire exactly the length that you need it uh, because with any spark plug wires you know we're always looking at loss so you know these are going to be in the i believe they're 25 ohms per foot loss that's off the top of my head so you know not trying to put put that in print i think they're 25 ohms per foot and so that means that loss you're going to have more loss the longer your wires are correct so you don't want this like majorly long uh coil wire. I mean, you don't want a coil wire that's five feet long, right? You want it as short as possible. So this way, with the coil wire kit, you're able to put it together and have that wire be exactly the length that you need it to be to work most effectively. So that's a really cool new feature here. Um, none of our other wire sets are, come like that. I mean, I'm sure you could take them apart and you could cut down the wires and, and do all of that. But here you've got this kit and it's designed to do that. So the spark plug wires, they run $130 for a set. Um, and by the way, those those um, wires are marked with which cylinder. So they're already pre-cut. I mean, the wires themselves are just going to go right on your from your distributor under header design, the whole deal. And they're all marked. They're all different lengths, um, but they're marked with the different cylinders. So you're good there. It's just the coil wire itself that you know can be different from car to car. Um, the rest is all set up for a crate engine. And it, that, it doesn't matter whether you've got a 602 or a 604, you're set up either way. All right, so next up in the number four spot this week is, oh, I just have to get out of the box. I guess I could have thought forward and put the stuff on the desk, but it is our Jones, um, here it is. This is our rear mount, bell, well, bell housing mounted power steering kit. So you've got the power steering pump, you have the pulley and the bracket, and not only do you get a belt, but you also get a spare belt to go with it. So especially, you know, I find the rear-mounted power steering happens more in the late models than it does really any of the other types of cars. Um, so if you've been looking to go with that rear-mounted power steering, this is a great kit to go with, and that way you've got all the stuff you need, the pulley, the brackets, the, the whole deal, instead of trying to buy it by pieces. And that whole kit runs 450 even. So there we go, our Jones kit in the number four spot. All right, next up in the number three spot this week is our PFC brake pads. And now the ones for the GM metric are the ones that I carry in stock. Okay, there we go. Um, this one happens to be, let me see what compound, this is an 80 compound right here. Uh, we have it in, I believe, five different compounds. And depending on the compound you choose will depend on the price. So some of, they start at $59 and they go up to, more than that so <laughs> i can't remember if it's 179 or 199 i mean i should know these things you guys i but i don't know the prices of every single thing so anyway there is a range so it just depends on which of those that you choose um i would say that the most popular compound is probably the 97. it's the one that you know it's it's kind of like the goldilocks compound where it's not too hard it's not too soft it's 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 just right there and probably the go-to, it'd be a great go-to to start off with even. And then if you find, hey, wow, it's a little too soft for me, you know, or I work on a different kind of track or whatever, then you could adjust accordingly. But I would say if you're looking for one compound to go with, that 97 has been the most popular out of all of them. And like I said, these are for the GM metric. Oh, and if you're wondering what it comes with, it's, um, I'll show you. It has two of these little packages right here, right? So the two little packages inside of here, I do love how this is, I mean, this is wrapped like jewelry, you guys. Look at this. We've got the, the eggshell crate inside of there, eggshell cartoning, and these are a carb, carbon fiber metallic, I guess. But so then each one of these packages, when I open this up, we've got, you know, one pair right here. So this set, when you buy a set, you're getting two pairs of brake pads is what's coming in here. So you'll have four brake pads in total for your car. So that is that. And oh yeah, the GM metric style. Uh, the other the other versions of brake pads, I, I have them on the website. I just may not have them on the shelf. And so I might get them straight from a supplier, just you know as an FYI. But if you've got GM metric, which I know a lot of my modified customers do, 
um, probably the most popular in the modified market, then these geometric ones, I will have them on the shelf ready to go because I hate to wait. And I know you guys hate to wait too. So speaking of waiting, I'll stop rambling and go into the number two spot. So the number two spot this week is from our friends at race fan so this week it's our three blade 17 inch race fan and um i show this all the time i love this now of course if you're putting this together for your car you're going to use the bolts and actually bolt these blades in right but if um when i'm showing it off like this what i can show you is that see these are interchangeable blades so let's say you you know whether you've got um area where you're in a cooler conditions and you don't need all three blades Oh look, now it's a two-blade fan. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, I. You know, I remember when, when I was a kid is when Transformers came out. So here we've got like the Transformer fan. It's just kind of cool. You know, things come full circle, and isn't it always fun when I age myself? But um, but anyway, with the race fan, super convenient. That way you can go to two blades, three blades, or four blades. You could go up to six blades, but I just don't see any of guys that are running crate engines. We don't need six blades on a fan. We need six blades on a fan. We got other issues. Let's go look at those first. Um, uh, you don't need, you, I, I don't know of one situation where somebody has said, yeah, I needed six blades. So it's really the two, three, or four, uh, two, three, or four blades that you'd want to go with on the race fan. But the three blade fan, um, this is the 17 inch, as I mentioned. Um, this runs two 1750. And it really doesn't matter which of the lengths that you choose, whether you want to go with the 15 inch or the 17 inch or the 19 inch, the pricing is all the same across the board so a two blade or a three blade 17 inch fan is the same price as a three blade 15 or a three blade 19. Um, the rest just depends on how big is your shroud and because you want to always with i mean it doesn't matter what kind of fan you run you're going to want to make sure that you've got a really good solid shroud so you're directing that air properly i mean it's just it's just a really basic thing that you're going to want to know so measure the inside of your shroud and make sure that fan's going to fit so hopefully that is a helpful little tech tip of the day all right with that we've got our top spot this week and in the top spot once again i think it was in the top spot last week but it's our clots oil so if you're changing your oil then this is a great oil to go to still the best performing oil we found and this is the clots 1040 oil and the most popular in the number one spot this week is by the case now we do sell it by the quart we sell it by the case we sell them in oil change kits where you get seven quarts plus an oil filter so buy it however you'd like the pricing per quart is you know it's within a penny of the same i mean you got a little bit of rounding that happens when you when you start breaking it down and adding it up but for a case they run 153.95 for a case and there's 10 in a case so i hope that helps all right so with that um i'm going to go ahead and jump into the comments here and see if we've got any questions from anyone here and let's see here go through and and also we'll start doing our drawing so if you haven't gotten a comment in here then um then go and do that. Let's see. Terry asked, mounts to the bell housing. It mounts. Let me show you if it's got it shown installed. It's not showing it. Um, it's just showing that it's a rear mount power steering. Um, it goes to the engine. Okay, great. And I've got um, some drawings to do here. Okay. Bring up my random number generator. And a lot of people knew my sign this week. So... Okay, and I've got Alex in the studio helping out, so he's going to help me out with that. Um, and I'll also give him a number here too. Bear with me just a moment. And he's counting up the number of folks here. So, Alex. Okay, great. So I'm going to see what the other questions are here. Um, so, Kate, are 602 headers the same bolt pattern as old style heads? I heard only crate headers fit crates. All right, let me see if I can clear this out for you. So the the bolt pattern on whether it's a 602 or a 604, the bolt pattern is exactly the same. But here's the difference, is that a 602 is the ports are, are they're the same on a 602 as they are for all small block Chevys. Well, I don't, maybe there's some other outlier, right? But but for the most part, you're just looking at small block Chevy. That's anything that's 602 is the is same as a small block Chevy. What happened with the 604s is the ports are slightly different size and configuration. So the bolt patterns are exactly the same, but the port sizes are slightly different. Um, which one is this? This is the sign. 
Okay, so um, the winner for our sign, the, the sling grip, is Tony White. So, Tony, uh, you win a sling grip today. So, please go ahead and send me a private message. I'm writing down your name right here. Send me a private message with your address, and I'll get that sent out to you. And the second winner of the T-shirt is Bob Crawford. So, Bob, I know you're a longtime viewer, but next this week you win the Hendron Racing Engines T-shirt. So, please send me a private message with your address, and I will get that sent out to you as well. I'm going to see what other questions there are here in the comments uh, but congratulations to both you guys uh let's see and bob says actually i use profab headers so um mentioning something about profab i need to make the change on the website but um since i have this in stock they actually got me gave me permission to extend the sale on the profab headers and so they're going to be 200 dollars off um, right now they're 18 something and they're going to be 16 something because you may have missed it if you didn't see my live video. I actually went live on Friday because I got so irritated with all of the crazy number of emails that I was getting from everybody I've ever bought anything from in my whole life. I mean, I had like 300 emails in, over the course of like 30 hours and it was ridiculous. So I did a live video and I said, here's why you're not getting a, a, an email from me today. <laughs> so you guys get an email once a week from us. So if you're not on our email list, you can just go to crateinsider.com forward slash sign up and that'll take you to a page where you can enter your name and email address. And we send out an email generally every Tuesday after Top 5 Tuesday. We get this video up on YouTube and, and send out all the links to everything. So just throwing that out there. Um, let's see. Yeah, what else we got here? Uh, Brad asked if I had found my assistant. Yes, I have got a new assistant and she is awesome. So I love that. Um, Bill asked if I'm coming to the dome race. I am not coming to the dome race. I have to come back and edit a whole bunch of video from PRI. I'm hoping to be able to make it to the dome next year, but we'll see what happens. Um, I, how much is the oil change kit? I'm not sure off the top of my head. I apologize. I will follow up after this, after this video and be able to drop that in. Okay. So in Let's see. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I sure did. And I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. You, it really means the world to me. And I will look forward to seeing you. I'll see you sometime next week. It may be next to Wesley, but sometime next week I will see you. Um, you'll definitely get lots of coverage from PRI. Um, you just may not see my face. It'll probably be Wesley's. But uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun, and we're going to come back with a whole lot of new information whole lot of new videos and some some great tips for racers for the new year so thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you soon have a great week